What is up everybody, this is FNH here with a brand new video to talk about the MSI Afterburner. So, um, in this video I'm going to be basically giving you a tutorial on how to tweak it up, overclock it, change the fan speed, etc, etc, on the MSI Afterburner. Um, so, what, if you don't know what this is, this is basically um, provided by, I believe it's by MSI itself, and this basically lets you be able to like see your GPU's current temperature i believe it lets you see the cpu's temperature as well it lets you see how much it's running right now the capacity it's running at um what level it is the megahertz and whatnot all those different things um i have a gtx 1080 ti uh so that's what i currently use and we are it says it right there i have a geforce gtx 1080 ti that is what i currently use and we're going to be basically going from here and they have an interesting feature as well which is what i was testing right before i made the video hence why you might see my temperature insanely large uh which is like it's usually around 30 degrees celsius right now it was like at 50 um <laughs> like like i'm sorry not 50 it was at 80 it actually reached 85 ish <clears throat> until i turned the fan on and then i turn off the testing it basically tests your uh, overclocking features, how much confidence it has, and it said for me it was 90%. It's just a scanner to see how much it can go for. Now, just to show you exactly how to make it work and whatnot, um, you have all the different limits over here, and you have your fan limit, uh, your power limit over here, which basically can essentially have it to your degree of are you trying to, how much are you trying to like overclock it, what's the limit you're trying to give it to. You have your core voltage limit as well. You have your core clock as well where you can have increase or decrease your megahertz and your memory clock again you don't want to tweak with this too much you might want to tweak with it to yourself for your perfection again now are you doing this for gaming are you doing this for mining it can be very different things but this is completely up to you on which route and how you're trying to tackle it um i know a lot of people usually they want to like be able to take change their fan speed so definitely get rid of auto and then you'll you'll be able to tweak it i know some people want to keep it at auto because when they start gaming it turns on it gets high when they don't want to again it completely depends on the person the user um when i used to mine i stopped mining especially after the crypto crypto thing got bad it wasn't profitable anymore but when i did used to mine <clears throat> i used to have my fan speed around 70 it's like a normal pace to have now mine is at 25 because it's not necessarily needed again it stays around 30 degrees celsius it's going to literally drop back down eventually so you'll see <laughs> right now the fahrenheit is insanely high because it's at 42 degrees celsius so it's like 104 i believe or maybe even more than that um but yeah you can obviously like i said it, the way you tweak with the power limit it actually goes hand in hand with the temp limit which is very interesting and very cool you can again i keep it at 105 for my own personal preferences again you can change the uh clock core clock as well you can have your memory clock changed as well it's very interesting it literally shows you, you the whole feature and everything on how it works um there's also health features disable features you can reset it everything to what it was and then you can press that to save again you can go into the menus as well you can see all the different things you can have it check for updates you can have it designed for other purposes you can see like if you want to see the monitoring start it while as windows opens up because if you restart your computer this thing turns off um there's monitoring there's on screen display like like i was talking about there's other displays as well it's not just that it's the gpu usage it's the cpu usage the, me the memory usage as well again all the power clock the percentage is being used the fan speed temperature limit power limit you can literally put up a limit like it won't go beyond that like i said over here this is the limit you can actually break it or keep the limit on and then go from there again G cpu temperature as well as like i said your gpu so i have four, i believe eight cpus so it'll probably show the temperature for all of them this is the usage of what's currently happening and again it has it's very interesting <clears throat> msi actually has all these different features that i personally do like to use and see and whatnot so yeah so your core clock is here again you want to tweak with it and go from there i would definitely don't want you to overdo it definitely keep in mind on how to go for it keep in keep your voltage in mind as well because that's what people try to do they try to overclock and get as much as power with as least voltage as possible because they save money with that perspective then so yeah again is it for mining is it for gaming it's up to you and how which route you'd prefer and like to take but yeah this was the video on msi afterburner i hope you guys overall liked it uh, i hope this was informative on how to use it and whatnot and do all these different things um if you overall did like the video definitely give it a thumbs up that helps a lot if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell and that evan h out peace